My four years at the Academy were among the best four years of my academic life. The Academy taught us friendship. It taught us involvement in the community. Um, I think it instilled in us uh, a real academic rigor. Frankly, college seemed really easy after the Academy. If you can get through uh, a whole class of Gamora, it's pretty easy to get through a legal a law class. I've spent many uh, Shabbos meals hearing stories about Idy Crown Jewish Academy. Even though I never went to school here, I really feel a part of what goes on here. All of my kids had a wonderful experience at the Academy. They've gotten a great education, got into wonderful colleges, and it's made them into the people that they are today. When I graduated in 1979, there were 60 kids in my class. But you got the sense that it was a fairly small place, and certainly the old building. Um, there was a sense of, uh, you know, shared POW-ness that you were in this uh, old crummy building, but it was great. Now they've got this fabulous new building, but there's the same warmth, there's the same closeness, but yet it's now a 21st century school. Being a part of the new building was the greatest accomplishment of my professional career. I loved being a part of the team to, that made this happen and the day of the dedication was one of the best days of my life. It's indescribable. I loved it. Eddie and Jane grew up with the same values. The importance of community, the importance of sharing, the importance of helping others, which makes them such perfect honorees and such wonderful parents here at the Academy. Everything they do, they do through a Jewish lens, which is how we see the world, uh, where you don't have to distinguish between a Jewish life and a professional life and a communal life. For Jane and Eddie, they all merge into one. They're both people people. Like, they both like being around people, and the people love being with them. Every time we have a happy occasion, they're always there with full hearts. They're so happy to participate. They're involved in charities and learning, and they're just sort of fun people to be around and, they, and he does have a good sense of humor most of the time, so I think. Jane, of course, and I worked together on the capital campaign to create this wonderful new building and Eddie has always been supportive and he's been there because he believes in that very same mission of building and creating and being proud of who we are. Jane, her many years of service to JUF when Ida Crown was looking for capital as far as the capital campaign, she immediately got excited and got to work. She's just really incredibly organized, a go-getter, really on top of things. She inspires people. Jane and Eddie have had successful professional careers and they've been equally, perhaps more importantly, successful in transmitting their goals to their children as well. Uh, I've seen uh, there are three children through the Ride On for Israel program, and I'm um, recollecting that J uh, Jacob Best did the single best questioning of a member of Congress that I've ever seen in my life. Uh, he knew the issues inside and out. That must be the lawyer and his dad running off. Absolutely. Obviously comes from Eddie. One value that my parents gave me, that also is a school value, is just trying to contribute to the greater community. You know, working at a school, being on a board, teaching me through example. My parents are very giving people. Um, I think the, f the first thing I think about in most situations is how they can contribute. The school really just goes to show the extent of that. For my dad in the old building, then his three sons being in that same building, going to high school at the academy, and then my mom fundraising for the new building, which eventually their youngest child, Ari, my brother, is now in that new building. Ida Crown has me door la door, occupied a very special place in the hearts of my family. Jane and Eddie sending their kids to day schools, uh, involvement at JUF, uh, involvement with the academy, and then of course uh, they're practically commuters when it comes to going to Israel and back. They are uh, in many ways role models for all of us uh, in terms of how to raise a Jewish family and uh, be leaders in a Jewish community. They're kind, they're caring, and they're really generous 
in every single regard. Truthfully, their name says it all. They're truly the best. When we had kids, making sure that they went to the academy as teenagers um, was really important to us so that they'd really get the deep-seated love of being religious, of learning, of Israel, and all the things that the academy instills. It's important for our kids to get this education so they have a strong foundation as to who they are, where they come from, and in addition to that is the benefit of being a part of this wonderful community. If we really want um, our Jewish community to thrive, a Jewish high school is really the core of making sure that our kids remain part of the Jewish community, religiously observant, connected to Israel, and connected to the community.